Oh, there you're live. All right, what's going on? Good to see everybody chiming in, saying hello. What's going on? Good to see you. Good morning. All right, cool. So here's a couple things. Is the number one thing that a lot, I see a lot of clients do, and a lot of people in the forums do, is they say, oh my gosh, my funnel is not converting or my store is not converting. So if you're on Amazon, if you're on Shopify, if you're on ClickFunnels, if you have any type of sales online, you need to watch this because what I'm gonna show you is where you might be stopping short of the goal, all right? So we're gonna walk over to the whiteboard here in a minute. I'm gonna make sure this video is live uh, right now. That way I can say hi to you guys, which I appreciate you showing up. By the way, we do this every single uh, Monday. Brent, Brent, I don't know if we're live. Are we live? Let's see if we're live. Sorry, guys. I don't know. I want to make sure we're live here. So that way you guys get the most benefit from this. Okay, cool. So we're out. I just, got, I, don't, I just can't see it. All right, cool. So let's head over to the whiteboard. I want to show you guys a couple things of what we're doing here. All right. So when you do a funnel, you got a couple things that are happening. Okay. One, you have your traffic. That traffic then moves into usually some sort of uh, sales page. It can, be, it can be a VSL, a video sales letter, a long sales letter. Uh, it can do, it, you, if, if you're on Shopify, you're doing your order form, or not your order form, but more of your, your kind of your product display page, if you will. Uh, but then from there, you know, we move into then uh, the order form, especially if you're on like a click funnels or whatnot. And then once they purchase, then we go down the stream of you know, the one-time upsells, one-time offers, okay? So that's pretty cool. Now here's what's interesting. I do this myself sometimes. So it's interesting how we look at how a, converter, how a funnel is converting or if it's working or not, okay? So I wanna walk you through a few numbers. So we're doing a little math today, good times. I know it's early in the morning, it's okay. We're gonna be just fine. But I wanna make sure you understand the math that needs to happen through each of these in order to know if it's working or not. So before we hit this, I wanna do an analogy for you, okay? So the analogy is, you have a piping system, okay? So the, the, the piping system's open right here, it goes down, and think of water flowing through this, this pipe, okay? So here it comes out of here. All right, so then, first we got our nice bucket, and this bucket is full of eyeballs, all right? So it's our it's our bucket, here comes all the traffic. So we're pouring traffic into this, into this funnel. Then, in this funnel, we have valves. Okay, so we can turn these valves on, we can turn these valves off, or we can have these valves slightly on. And I want you to think of your sales process, your funnel, as valves. So as valves, we're looking at, maybe this is our sales page, so this is, our sales page, this is our order form, this is our one-time offer, and so here's, a lot, here's what I see a lot of, okay? So we have all this traffic, so we have 100% traffic coming in, so all the traffic that hits our sales page. Now, that's this page right here. So this valve is open at maybe 10% open, okay? So of all the traffic that comes through, 10% is moving from the sales page into the order form. Now, what's interesting, is that we've, we've had 100 clicks. We've had 100 clicks to this sales page, interesting enough. Now, the, the number one thing I hear is, oh, my order form is not converting. Well, that's the case number one here that I want you to realize, is how can the order form convert if it only seen 10% of the traffic? So you've sent 100 clicks, but this order form has only seen 10 clicks. What I'll notice is people will start fixing, optimizing, changing buttons, the order forms, what it looks like, pricing, when it's only received 10 clicks. They're, they're paying attention to the 100 clicks and thinking, oh man, I should be converting at least one sale by now. But the thing is, is your order form is not broke, okay? It, it, it doesn't have any signs of being broken yet because it's only received 10 clicks so far. So what's actually broken is the sales page. So you always have to back up one step prior to where you probably think it's broken, to where the valve is not turned on yet. So if we back up to the sales page and we do some critiques there, and we say, hey, uh, man, maybe we need to change the headline. We need to change the top images. We need to change the buttons of what they say, 50% discount. You're getting a great offer today. Hit their desire in the chest. And when we do that, this valve opens up more. So now instead of 10%, we're at 
70%. So now 70% of the Facebook or, or Instagram or YouTube traffic or Google Display Network, whatever you're using, is now hitting the order form. Now in this case, 70 clicks would have hit now the order form. And the question now becomes is where is this valve turned on at? Is it turned at, you know, 1%, 2%, 3%? And that's what we want to look at. So if this is at 1%, that means for all the traffic that's bringing to this page, we're going to get one sale for every 100 clicks. Does that make sense to you guys? So one sale for every 100 clicks. Now, interesting enough though, is this is bringing over 70. So let's do, let's do some easy numbers for you guys, mainly me, because I'm doing this without a calculator. So 50%. So if we got 100 clicks, that means 50% of that traffic's going to come over to the order form. Okay. So with that 50%, that means 50 clicks are going to be here. So we're at, let's say this is at 2%, which equals one sale. So that one sale now reaches the OTO. At this point of the process, some of you guys say, holy smokes, my one-time offer isn't working. It's not converting. Well, it's only had one sale and you're seeing 0% conversions on it. Well, that's because there's not enough traffic yet. There's not enough traffic in order to suggest that there needs to be a change in the one-time offer. So going back, if we look at, okay, now we got 200 clicks. It converts at 50%, so it brings 50% of the conversions over. So now we have 100 of these, and that was converting at 2%. So now we have two sales that have come through. So if we take the entire now click to order, that'd be two sales divided by 200, which equals a 1% click to order. That's what we're always looking for. I'm always wanting to be above this. You want to be above greater than, greater than 1% click to order. So then my case is, okay, how do we get that? How do we increase that? Well, there's two levels, three levels really to do that. One, how do we get a higher, how do we get a higher uh, CTO click to order rate? One is you can drive cheaper clicks. So decrease your click cost. Maybe that's through retargeting. Okay. The other one is your sales page. So how do we increase, how do we increase the amount of traffic that's flowing from my traffic source through my sales page, allowing us to open up that valve, allowing traffic or water in this case to flow through our funnel. Well, when we do that, when we increase that, that increases our conversion from our traffic into our sales page. And once that sales page clicks over to 50%, now our order form is seeing 50% of that traffic or 70% of that traffic. That's great. Then the order form. Okay, now we've seen 100 clicks. Did we get any conversions? Did we get one conversion? Did we get two conversions? Right? That's the question. Okay, so now we know. We know for every 100 clicks, we're seeing 2%. Now the goal is, is to increase the order form conversion, right? Is that, worst case, lowering the price? Is that changing the description on the buttons? Is that giving more FAQs? Is that putting more testimonials into it? Is it showing them a guarantee? Is it showing them a refund policy? What is it that needs to happen on the order form page to get them to increase the amount that they're purchasing? Now, a couple things there is maybe we can increase the conversion of the page or we can increase the cart value of the page or we can do both we can increase the conversion and increase the cart that's exactly what we do inside of our reactive funnels training but this is how you start to allow yourself to convert on an offer a lot of us will stop short we send 100 clicks through 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 our social media through our traffic to our sales page and we say ha it's not converting because what I know is when I send hundred clicks somewhere, it should convert at one sale. This is a dud product. And in fact, it was a winning product. All you had to do was turn on this valve just a little higher to get more traffic to your order form in order for it to convert higher in order for you to be profitable. Okay. So that's exactly 
what we're talking about here on Marketing Mondays. By the way, guys, we do this every single Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. This is your first time watching. What we do is we come here on this page, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. My name's Trey Llewellyn. We do these free trainings for you guys. And if you want more of these free trainings right now, all you gotta do is go over to talktotrey.com, and at that page, you'll put in your name and your email, and we give you free 50 trainings, 50 free trainings, it's pretty incredible, of information like this that you can use, intelligent information that's current, that you can use in your funnels, in your Shopify stores, on Amazon, to look at how your traffic can increase, how you can increase your profits, increase your revenues, increase your business, increase your life, okay? So go now, talktotrey.com, fill in that little information, and get your 50 free trainings, you deserve it. So following back up on this, is this traffic, right? So now let's kind of look at our funnel again. So we have our traffic that flows in, that goes to our sales page or VSL, our long, se our, uh, uh, our long sales letter, our order form, if you do maybe like a Shopify store, order form page. And then it flows into the order form and then the rest of the funnel, right? Your OTOs and your thank you pages. So when you're looking at this, when you're looking at your funnel, don't get discouraged if you've sent 100 clicks or 200 clicks and you have no buys on your order form. In fact, it's probably not your order form at all. It might be your sales page. Heck, it might even be your creative, your copy that you used in your email or on your Facebook uh, ad or in your Instagram ad or in your YouTube ad. This is the stuff you need to change out. This is the stuff you need to look at. Because if I'm not bringing traffic at 50% or more or greater from my sales page to my order form, I'm swapping out headlines, right? I'm swapping out images. I'm swapping out button copy on my sales page. Now, once I've reached that 50% mark or 60 or 70% traffic is flowing to the order form and I've had 100 clicks, I've waited patiently, right, for 100 clicks to hit my order form, now I know that conversion, if it converted at all. And if it didn't convert, well, I need to change something up. If it did convert, well, I need to figure out why those people who did purchase, purchased, for one, and why all the other people who didn't purchase, why they didn't purchase. I got ways to do that as well. But for today, on the order form, we're looking at, okay, what do we change up? Not just the price, maybe it's the headline on that page. Is it congruent? Does it make sense from the sales page to the order form? Did they get confused when they hit the order form from the sales page? That happens a lot. Different images, different headlines, different banners, different company names. You don't wanna do that, right? It has to be congruent. So these are all little tips and tricks that you can do to make sure your funnel is converting at a high capacity, at a high converting rate, right? That's what we want. We want a high CTO a high uh, conversion or click to order. A high click to order is what we want. So as, I, as those clicks come in, we want those orders coming in as well. And the more we can increase this, the more we can raise your traffic, the more we can raise how much you pay out to affiliates, and the more that raises for your profitability. All right, so that's what it for the day. This is Marketing Mondays. I appreciate you guys showing up. You know, this is why we, this is why we do this, to give back to you guys, to give back to my community. You know, we live the life of abundance. We feel that there's enough out there for everybody to have which is why we love sharing. I come here live every day to the office to share with you valuable information, things that we're learning that you can take home and go implement. So it's my best, best wish that you take this information and all the other past Marketing Mondays and go take that information and go implement it. Okay, go implement it. And then let us know feedback. Send us a private message. Hit us up in the group chats, right? Put something on our wall of how you used it, how you implemented it. Send me a message on Instagram. I read all of those, okay? By the way, again, we do this every Monday. Come back. Sit down, enjoy the free content at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Until then, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.